As much as we want to eat delicious food, we shouldn't sacrifice our health. Neither should we sacrifice our environment. Our food, our climate, and our health are all connected. That's why I think nutrition and carbon tracking should be integrated to help you manage your health and protect the environment all in one place. Let's do a quick demo of this web app, which is built using Streamlit. We can create an account to personalize your nutrition and carbon tracking. So I will go ahead and log into my existing profile. The database of dishes is built from custom recipes from which we calculate all the carbon and nutrition labels. Let's add a few dishes now to see uh, what we have. The amount defaults to the typical serving size when we choose a dish. So after selecting all the food in this meal, we can go ahead and click Submit. You will see your meal's macronutrients and carbon footprint. For the carbon labels, we have a traffic light system where green represents good, you are minimizing your carbon footprint, while red is not so good. For nutrition, the percentages consumed for each macro are based on your own daily targets, which you can set in your profile page. We can also save uh, the meal into the database. To see our history, we can navigate to the analytics page. Here, we see our daily, monthly, and all-time carbon footprint. There's a chart to show our carbon footprint trends, and there is also a rough estimate of the number of trees needed to offset your food carbon emissions in a year. If we scroll down a little bit more, we also see our calories and macros today, and followed by our calories and macro trends. Finally, we also see a average macro split across all the meals that we have eaten. So what do you think? Should carbon and nutrition tracking be more widespread to raise awareness about our health and climate? Let me know in the comments below.